ID Tech Hack show here in, uh, with Cooper Gray Robotics LLC. So hello, so who are you? Hi, I'm Paul Cooper with Cooper Gray Robotics. Uh, we're happy to be here at ID Tech and we brought two of our uh, robots here today. I call them robots because they are remote controlled vehicles. Uh, there are no operators that sit on board. Uh, the operator uses uh, two joysticks to control our vehicles. Uh, we are developing our technology, which is, uh, you're going to edit this, uh, our technology is the control architecture that drives the controls on board. Uh, so let's on, go, let's walk around here. So you have a smaller one here and it has, uh, what's it called? Uh, it has a plow blade on it. So it's so a plowing? Uh, this little, we call this uh, our little bot. Uh, this is a ground up vehicle. It has uh, sealed lead acid batteries on board. It's all electric, remote control. Uh, this is used as a tug. Uh, it's also used to do plowing. We have a standard two inch uh, tow hitch on the back uh, where you can connect uh, any number of appliances. We have here a 12,000 pound winch so uh, this is used to move uh, other equipment around our yard. We have 24 robotic uh, uh, robots. They're all built on construction base equipment. Uh, sometimes uh, they need to be pushed uh, or towed uh, to get them back into the construction bay for repairs. And then right here, this is a big one. This is a big one. It's called Robel. Robo stands for Remote Operated Electric Bucket Loader. This is a 1976 uh, Mustang skid steer that we salvaged. We removed the diesel engine, the hydrostatic drive that used to move these wheels, and we installed all electric motors that drive the wheels. We have a 24 kilowatt hour lead acid sealed lead acid battery pack in here and uh, Cooper Gray's technology is, is hidden here under the, the lids and uh, our technology takes uh, the input signals and tells this machine to go left, right, uh, forward, back and to raise and lower the boom. We also have a power takeoff in here where we can add other attachments such as an auger or pile driver or a lawnmower that skid steers are famous for. And uh, this again is all electric drive, but our control architecture can convert any machine that's out there, whether it's diesel, uh, propane, and uh, it doesn't matter on the size of the piece of equipment. So is any is, is any way you can do this uh, autonomous? So you can have a whole bunch of them like yes. digging at this autom autonomously? We, that is our next generation of our control technology is to add in a sensor suite, uh, what we call increased smart or intelligence for these vehicles. Ultimately, they can be made autonomous. Our current technology will allow an operator to control multiples of these at the same time and uh, our control architecture sends information back to the operator. Um, we can bolt on LiDAR, sonar, radar, uh, and GPS with uh, our technology. So and, and any developed uh, sensor technology in the future can also mate and bolt in with our technology. So uh, is, is there any hydraulics involved? You need a lot of power and strength we, to lift stuff. This, this machine started out uh, with 70 gallons of hydraulic fluid on board. Uh, with the all-electric drive, we've now reduced that hydraulic uh, reservoir to five gallons to currently operate uh, the boom and the bucket. We do have designs to convert these to electric linear actuators to remove all the hydraulics. This is especially interesting, uh, interesting to uh, organic farmers, um, the organic uh, grape growers out there. Uh, uh, we have a kimchi company interested in our vehicle because uh, they uh, want a non-polluting vehicle to do harvesting and be a tug for their uh, harvest bins. So there's no pollution happening here? 
It's no, electric. It's all electric, no exhaust, no smoke, all work. And uh, the full power that is needed for this kind of, it works? Yes. And uh, how about the this, battery life? How far this, can it go? How much work can it do? This, uh, this current battery pack in here is a lead acid pack and will work about four hours before needing charging. Our next generation uh, of lithium pack in here, we fully anticipate this to work for eight hours. Typically, uh, a skid steer like this on a construction site works for about three or four hours and does uh, accessory and cleanup work to the larger excavation and dump truck uh, equipment on a job. So, do you have lots of orders? Do you have lots of people that we have a lot it? of interest? And yes, we have orders. If I can give them, how much uh, and when can I deliver? Uh, I am currently standing here as a startup, and we're looking for that seed money to develop our production model version for the marketplace. This so how is much our will it working cost? prototype. How much will we, the price be? We expect this to be the same price as the existing skid steer, maybe a little less. This machine today is running about sixty-five to seventy-five thousand uh, dollars, and the operating cost of an all-electric model is about one tenth of that of a diesel brother. And uh, have you been using it? What have you been doing with it? We have been using this. I can show you several videos on our screen. Uh, we've used it for grubbing services. Uh, we've hauled soil and dirt. Uh, we've moved and spread gravel with it. Uh, we've bailed water uh, and a reservoir. We've built a dam with it to prevent uh, flooding with this machine. Uh, and uh, mostly moved a lot of dirt and gravel with it.